Hello everyone, Gomrath here with Gomrath Games, and today I'm going to be bringing you a guide on Raiding with Leashes 2. I will cover each of the pets that are in Raiding with Leashes, as well as the breeds that I think you should have, and where they are found. So let's get started. That's cool. There's a little wayward spirit right there that I clicked on and exploded. So right now I'm in Tempest Keep, which is found in Outland. Uh, near Netherstorm, just outside of Netherstorm, it's this place out here. You need to have flying to be able to get here. But there are three pets that drop in here. One is the Lesser Void Caller. Mine is called Undertaker. He looks a lot like Yorick from League of Legends. But anyway, he's really cool. And uh, he's got some cool magic type abilities, but he also has all these undead type abilities. So he's a magic type that's strong versus humanoids, which can come in handy in some fights. I would recommend picking up the Health Power Breed. I have yet to get one. I've got this Health Speed Breed here, um, which isn't terrible, but I always like to prioritize, prioritize power uh, over speed, especially on a tanky pet, because he's already super slow. Like, his speed at 281 is still very, very slow with that HS Breed. The next pet that drops in here is the Phoenix Hatchling. Now, the Phoenix Hatchling drops from the second boss in here, or no, actually the first boss in here, um, Alar, and uh, I wish the pet looked like a mini Ashes of Alar, but he just looks just like a dragon hawk, as you can see, he's just down here next to me. Um, as far as breeds go, I would go for the Speed Speed breed, uh, just always pure breed is better, you know, pure bloods are better than Muggleborns, just as pure breed pets are better than the Mutt pets. And then we got the Pocket Reaver. Now the Pocket Reaver drops from this guy right here, Mr. Void Reaver, and the Lesser Voidling, he drops from here. So these first three bosses all drop pets. And now the Pocket Reaver is actually awesome because he has two pure breeds. He's got the Power Power breed and L HH breed. And there is one fight in Northrend that this guy's actually really good against, uh, Gut Wretch. He is fantastic. You just do supercharge and quake, and you can kill those two first scrubs pretty easily, especially with this power power breed, which will allow you to take a leveling pet in your last slot. So that sums up Tempest Keep. The once again, that's the Lesser Void Caller, Phoenix Hatchling, and Pocket Reaver. All right, continuing our series, which is raiding with leashes right now. I think this is raiding with leashes three or two. I think it's raiding with leashes two. This is two. I am in Karazhan, and in Karazhan, there's actually really strong pets. So, my first and favorite of these pets is the Little Bad Wolf. Now, he is a humanoid with beast type attacks, with three of them, or four of them, and he can come in an SS breed, which allows you to use dodge more effectively and allows pounce to do more damage. So, he's actually a really, really strong pet. Well,. And the breeds that I'd recommend for him is the Speed Speed and the Power Power. The rest of them are okay, but Speed Speed, Power Power for him. Now this other pet is a Tier 1 pet, and you still see him all the time in PvP. Now, this is the Fiendish Imp. Now the SS breed is what makes this guy so great. As is a humanoid to have 333 speed, to have a switch out ability, to throw up immolate and then to go into the back line that's what this guy does every single time and oh it is frustrating to go against this guy the pvp video that i have uh the best pvp team in legion is directly designed to counter this guy so anyway that's the fiendish imp he is really really solid you have to go to this weird room in here. I wish I could zoom out the whole map, but you go through this door here, you fight the opera event, go through the door, and then it's like this secret hidden door. And there's YouTube videos how to find it. I'd just look it up if you're specifically looking for that. And then we have the Menagerie Custodian, which is another really, really solid pet. He hits incredibly hard. He's got a good basic attack. And then he's got two very strong hitting uh, he's got Iron Cannon and Shock and Awe, as long as well as uh, Lock On. So he's just a really, really solid pet. Got a good attack power value, very, very high health. Um, definitely somebody that you want to pick up and could be used in some leveling strategy. And then the last one is the Nether Space Abyssal. 
I'd recommend the Power Power Breed on this guy. Uh, you know, I really don't use magic type pets very frequently. They're very seldomly in any of my PvE or PvP teams. Just because I feel like they're kind of weak. Their racial is the least strong in the game. And there's not a lot to write home about. But they look really awesome. I mean, look at this guy. He's like a stinking infernal. So, yeah. Anyway, that's Karazin for ya. All right, everyone, Gomrath here, continuing our Pets of Raids, and we are in Serpent Shrine Caverns. Let's look this up. Okay. Serpent Shrine. Okay. So, these guys are going to interrupt my video. I'm going to come over here. So, in Serpent, Sh Serpent Shrine Caverns, there are three pets that drop. One is the Tide Keeper who is a aqua type pet that has humanoid moves, which is kind of cool. And he also has geyser, which is really overpowered and hits very, very hard. Uh, as well as the coil thing stalker and the tainted waverling. Now with these three pits here, let's just see. No. ER serpent shrine. Okay, so that's one word. All right, so just see these three pets. So the breeds I'd recommend, health power for the Tideskeeper, more health, uh, last longer, hit harder. Coil Fang Stalker, get whatever one you can. It's a pretty low drop rate. I killed the last boss, whatever her name is, Queen something, like a bazillion times before I got one to drop. And since they're so rare, nobody ever sells them on the auction house. Like I checked for weeks and weeks because it was one of the last uh, pets that I needed to finish my raiding with leashes and then i have the tainted waverly now i like the power balance breed but once again this guy is refusing to drop me one so let's see does he drop me one now okay he dropped me one and let's see what it big okay view in journal okay i got the health balance breed yeah still not what i was hoping for but eventually it'll drop so those are the three pets that you pick up in serpent shrine, Sh serpent shrine caverns and those are the breeds that i would suggest if you found this video helpful a like rating is always appreciated and make sure to subscribe for more well content these were just my top picks out of well not really necessarily top picks basically all the pets in rating with leashes to the breeds that i would recommend and the bosses that they drop from but make sure to comment let me know if there's pets that you think are better that I didn't really give enough credit to. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure.